Like, if you don't go to that hut and check that that thing is uh, locked, it's just not gonna, it's not gonna be a thing. Yep. It, it's like a third person action game ish with adventure game logic. Dang, I'm like not seeing any freaking rabbits so far. Not a big deal. Just like. Also, later you see um, other bigger prey, but they are M possible to hit like the elk or the deer or whatever you want to call them like run around so much that i'm like how am i supposed to do this yep you can literally tell okay uh no okay yeah those things are harder because those move around like so do you see how like i press the move around and stuff oh my bad Sometimes they like come out like super far away and then sometimes they're like right on your butt. Hello! I like those noises it makes. I should be getting a level soon and you get your, uh, hey, there we go. You get your life back, I'm pretty sure, when you get a level. So that's definitely speedrun strats there, lads. Yeah, yeah, especially, like, for, like, bosses and stuff, like, it, it gets very hard. So, we're gonna head back here. We have a different camera angle this time, because this game's the goat. And we are going to open up this. I think it automatically uses it. I, for, I, I, I kind of forget. Okay, good. I really don't like adventure game logic where, like, you have the item and it's like, no, select it! You know what I mean? I just kind of like it just like using it. Almost like a Resident Evil style thing, where if you have the key, it just uses the key. So we're gonna get some pretty cool items. Oh, sorry, I have to press A. Oh yes, that thing, whatever that was. Yeah, it's like, it's, <laughs> it was a grenade, and then there's a magic stick. Okay. Hmm? It's pretty crazy that hmm? they have, like, personalized soundtracks for the cutscenes. Even though it's just a piano, it just seems like a lot of effort. Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell you how much of a budget this game had. Like, it's on the Dreamcast in 2000. Which, hey, that was the first year the Dreamcast was out, technically. It came out in but, like... I, I... I did D on the Saturn sell really well? Like, I just don't have any indication, like... It's hard to imagine anything on the Saturn selling well because of how rare everything is now. You know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine, like, being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go pick up this uh, Shining Force 3. Well, you know what I mean? The Saturn in Japan was very popular. Yes, that is true. Pretty much in every other market. I think in Europe it was okay. But like I said, besides, like, World Series Baseball, which is the best game... It's hard to imagine a game that, like, sold well, just because I don't ever see them, you know? Ah, here we go. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Could there be enough, uh, more shaking? Like, I want to take the diazepam, uh, with the snake. Just get cigarettes and then start smoking the cigarettes to also do the same thing. Be fine with me. Hi. Hello. You sure? Like, I understand having uh, a sniper rifle and a blizzard where it sounds like there's a lot of wind. Bro! Dude, it probably sucks. Can you not? I mean, literally, it's not stopping. Alright. You wanna YOLO it? Let's YOLO it. No way! Wow. Pretty good. I can't stress enough how hard it is to hit the elk or whatever. 
It is so hard. They're just constantly running around like they never stop. Even if you're super far away. I'm imagining that you have a You do, yes. I just really well no, here's the thing. When you let me let me show you real quick. When you shoot, this happens, and specifically the camera goes down. So I think they do that on purpose so the enemies can like go away off screen. Because many times you're like kind of looking up. Although getting levels is 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 a necessity. So. Especially these are like a, a, a literal free to uh, to experience that. I all I did was just shoot instantly at it. Oh, let me show this. Uh, the pause screen tells you your HP, max HP, skill, which I don't know what that means. Experience and level. Check where you're on the map. Check this out. Uh, so that's the inventory. Oh, no, this is the cool one. Weapons case? Like, what is what is Laura? Like, a freaking assassin? She has, like, a... Archives the different, like, stuff you learn about, which is pretty cool. So in case you're confused. And then you can take photos, but I have not done that yet. So I'll tell you what the max weight. So I shot five, and the max weight's two six three six four grams. This like sometimes this game just goes over the top. It's like, hey, do you want to know what your max weight of every hunting thing? Yes. Yeah, they're pretty ambitious, even though it's like all just effort in weird spots. So. We're probably gonna go till we get to the first boss, which is actually, believe it or not, that not that far from now. Which I think would be probably a pretty good spot. Oh, also another good thing I like about this game is you can save at any point. Uh, the only time you can't save is during a during a battle, but literally any other time you can save. Oh, and there's unlimited saves I that I can tell. Feel a little bit better. Wow, well, looks like you've been to the stone hut. What's that? Oh god, this cutscene is the freaking worst. It won't work, you know. I try to get the news to the radio, but we're too high up for that. A new slash from the world of the living won't do as much good anyway. But you know what? I got an idea. I think there's something here that we can both use. Want to hear it? It's my mixtape. It's called. <laughs> Counting the Roses. I, I actually wrote the lyrics, believe it or not. God. I'm a poet. <laughs> what, it just works? Okay. I guess it has functional batteries in it. Someone who happened to read a poem of mine wrote and recorded this tune. I even got a letter once from someone who heard the song. Poetry to me. It's like... This is the like young guitar. Creating my own microcosm. A sanctuary of comfort. I just want to make sure it I got this probably, right. No, it must have been the end of another sad day when I wrote this poem. I, I saw this place. It was pure white. Okay. As far as the eye could see. And I, I was counting okay. roses. There's yellow and red and lavender and fuchsia. Hundreds of roses, so beautiful. You could lose yourself in them. In this shiny. Is this your favorite song? Such a good lesson. Accidental death. Not my mother's suicide. None of it. At first. 
first, I tried escaping through drugs. Then I learned to create red and poetry. white. That was a place where there was no memory of my parents' death. And I could just be happy, you know. I recently went through some of my poems and I realized something. Every one of my hundreds, no, thousands of poems are so sad. Oh no, the player ate my tape. Great. We can't listen to the radio and now we have no tape player. Well, here, you could have it. <laughs> Consider it a gift. I mean, is that the a worst thing in the world? A player and a pulverized poem of mine. To not have to listen to that song anymore. How depressing. And I thought a little music would be good for our morale. You put on the song and immediately started talking about the most no. depressing stuff possible. I know. There's something else I know. I it really is the worst, dude. It's been ten days since the accident. So why hasn't any help arrived? Can you remember anything? I mean, anything at all from the last eight days? You must have been with someone else. I couldn't make it out, but... You were calling someone's name. I wonder what... Could have happened to Jenny. Maybe we'll never know. If we could only find her, you know, she might know about this other person. If only you could. I'm call. sure of it. I just once you get past this character and like dealing with just this character, these cutscenes are like way less long. Like it's just like they made this character to be like, hey, what? Why'd you go back in? I I think you have to. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I just wonder how we're gonna get out of here. Ooh, love it. I forget, but for the 10 seconds that took, it's it's worth it. Was it worth it? Yes, it was worth it. Okay, so we should encounter a cutscene like soon, if not right now. But let's see. Dreamcast is really thinking. Okay, good. Okay. So we're on the right path. This is Pearl Airlines, flight 863. This is an emergency. We have crashed on a mountain north of Yellowknife, Canada. Can anyone hear me? Please, respond if you can hear me. This is flight attendant Ken. This is Pearl Airlines, flight 863. This is an emergency. Can we talk about Laura's, like, eyeshadow or whatever? Every character, I mean, all the female characters so far have had excessive eyeshadow. A little over the top, Laura. I mean, you were on a plane, girl. Hey, business ladies can look nice, too. Truth. Like, turn me around. There we go. Okay. Walk around like an idiot. Okay, so we're gonna head up to the crash site, which is not super far away. I'll probably get into like four or five uh, battles. So, what I was trying to do the other day was when it started to load, I was trying to like do this and like see if like this would like reset the RNG. And I gotta be honest, I don't know if it does or not. That's true. I really should get one more level before the, uh... Although, I guess you can just grind off screen to save time. That, that, that I definitely could. Where are you at, lads? Uh-huh. I like doing going for the overkill. I can't stress enough how... how if this game did not have, like, unlimited ammo, 
So it doesn't have unlimited ammo for all the weapons. You get two weapons, this one and another one that have unlimited, but if this game didn't have unlimited ammo, I can't stress enough how, like, much it would annoy you, me. You just could not do random encounters, it just wouldn't work. You would have to change it to finite enemies. Got a grenade. Let's get Okay. Yeah, so we're more than likely going to get a level heading up here. Um, it's actually not too far. There's there's two paths. The right path will go down next time. It's like a whole mining thing. And, and the left-hand side is where we have the... Uh, where we have the uh, crash site. So once you get to the point where there's like multiples of these, it gets, it gets a little tougher. I know, yeah, that's like actually on them. So essentially what they're saying is all these things are like, you know, were once people and they're uh, uh, mutated. I, I kind of forget. Also, oh, hello. Come on, you were just sitting there all nicely. Take a shot. Take a shot. Oh god, it's it's just so shit. No. Yeah, so you see how it goes down and the thing can like get away and whatever. Clearly they do that on purpose. Alright. It's not like I super need them right now, and obviously I can do this stuff off screen. I, I like I honestly do enjoy it though. Also, I think there's some parts where you can't get into fights. I have like, how many first age sprays do I have? Six. Excellent. That's good. Well, that's what we want. I don't know if you can get into fights when the area is small like this. Because I went through here like a bunch of times and like never got into a fight. Here's where the dog gets me into a fight. No, oh, guess not. So this is an area where you can start seeing caribou or elk or whatever they are. And, uh, they're really hard to hit. I just wish Laura was, like, less bad. Be nice. Dude, these areas are huge. I know, right? Like I know. I mean, there's not much going on, and there is a draw distance and stuff, but it's, like, not you bad can, at you all. You can see pretty far right? ahead. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. So, uh, coming up here, I'm gonna save, just in case. I would also really... Okay, good. I was actually hoping I got into that fight. Now we're gonna start seeing a bit harder animes. Three of them at a time is no joke. Very close to me. What? Unfair. I really do like it how you get your life back after every um, uh, level. Which, by the way, if I don't get a level on this one, I might, I might like get into a fight on purpose. Come on, give me a level. Three of them. Nope, not quite. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna run around until I get into a fight because there is literally a boss right inside the plane. So, oh, hello. Ten meat already. Magic stick. Quickie. Epic. Oh. Hello. I like how that other rabbit's like, I'm dumb. That's not a rabbit. That's an item. Let's get it. But yeah, I think you can have a mechanic where the rabbits can get infected, and when you get infected, you just die. So.
so based. Just take one thing and make it, like, make the game just absolutely impossible to play based on that one thing. Um, but yeah, I, I think I wasn't, like, undervaluing saying how weird this game is. I just, I'm really impressed at how massive these are for the Dreamcast. Like, the PS2 can't do this I mean, it's pretty basic. Obviously, they can cut some corners because the geometry is pretty barren. But it adds the atmosphere. There we go. Like, I don't know where this takes place again. Or, or something. Uh, Canada. <laughs> the only real unfortunate thing is just like, the sound effect. This is just so weird to me. They went that route. Nice. Ah, come on. Oh, good. Alright. Yeah, a level. I'm having a submachine gun that only has 15 bullets. I know. Level? Excellent. That's perfect. Okay. So we're gonna turn around like an idiot. And we're gonna save right here. I love, I, I, I don't know, like, I love games where you can just save wherever you want. Okay, so yeah, I got the level six there. By the way, that six hours that you saw is, like, absolutely, oh, crap. Uh, well, uh, I have to. It's yeah. either don't save at all or save <laughs> Rip! Yeah, that, you can get back to that. Yeah, that six hours was, like, not at all, like, me playing six hours. It's probably more, more me playing, like, two hours. Okay, uh, this game's about to ramp up the weirdness. As if that's possible. Let's just get this game in at GDQ <laughs> and watch all the cutscenes. <laughs> like, if you want to, can you skip the cutscenes? Yes, absolutely. I have not looked up what a speedrun of this game is. The long play on, like, World of Long Plays is, like, seven hours long. Which is why I'm like, okay, yeah, I could see it being that. And there might be some things I do off-screen, like, some really, like, you know, boring stuff. I like how you have to walk three steps. Not boring stuff, but, like, for instance, the thing that I do next time, I have to, like, travel pretty far to, like, reach the next area. I might do that off-screen, just to be like, here you go, you know. Oh, yeah, gross alert. It, this is gonna do something gross in a second. So, gross alert. If you get grossed out... Is everything all right, ma'am? Our current location is above Canada from the Puyala Star Cluster on Grand High Hill Shoes. The turbulence is the original ETA at St. Charles. Autopilot engaged. Game something, isn't it? I don't believe so, no. So that butterfly is important because you want to shoot that a lot. Uh, this isn't necessarily an easy boss. What butterfly? Oh, you mean the like the dragonfly thing or whatever? It's like its weak point, almost like uh, the first boss of House of the Dead too. Oh, Yeah, I'm not 
target. I might just out of safety use a use a meat depending on how much life I have back here. So, uh, yeah. What can you do about it? Just keep, literally get good. I mean, I only have to use one out of twelve meats, so it's not a huge deal. Nice. Yeah, I mean, not particularly a hard boss. It's just like, yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to get through it with... I mean, I could... Clearly, I could have gone through it without using the meat, but if I would have got hit again, I would have died. It just seems really unfair for, like, just after a certain amount of time, I'm going to see plays me. Yeah. So, after these cutscenes, that's pretty much where we're going to end. I, I'm pretty happy with where we got. I knew that this first part was just going to be, like, pure cutscenes. <laughs> pretty something, huh? You saved me, Kimberly! That was close. I was worried. You were gone for so long, and... So, well, that's what happened. What she even do? She, she really blossomed. Like yeah. By the way, this, if I remember correctly, this might be like ten more minutes of cutscenes, so. I My bad. It's a symbol of that stewardess's wish to fly. Hey, I, I do have some good news. Guess how I got here? I found a snowmobile. I bet we can make it out of here. Wow! With like that. Convenient. I think the monsters can attack us while we're riding a snowmobile. But we don't have much gas left. Good lord, these lip movements are so to off. Yeah, we'll need to find some gasoline somewhere before we can go anywhere else. Let's just go back for now. It's not much, but our luck is finally beginning to turn for the better. Right? Laura? Hmm? Laura? Surprised? Laura! You never told me your name, but that must be your name. This is yours, isn't it? I found it by the bed. It's engraved to Laura from your mother, Lucy. Does that bring anything back? Lucy, that's your mother's name. Does it ring any bells? Can you remember, can you remember her? What's she like? What does she look like? I bet she was very kind to you. When I found you lying in the snow, you were holding it as if it were so precious. Oh my god, Kimberly, sh just shut During up. During those two days, you were unconscious. You held this close and kept calling out someone's name. A man's name. I just want to play D again and just hear, Laura, it's your dad. Laura. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm glad you came too. Here you are. You don't want to lose it. It's a precious gift from your mother. Are you hurt? You don't seem to have any serious injuries. You should be on your feet in no time. Pretty sure this is the guy from the plane, by the way. Do you remember the plane crash? Our plane went down after being hit by a meteorite. The strange thing is, your compact started to glow just moments before impact. Yeah, it definitely is. And I had a vision of a burning rock colliding with the jet. Without thinking, I grabbed your arm and the next thing I knew, we were on this mountain. I managed to carry you down to this small cabin. You remember me, don't you? I'm David. David Brenner. David Brenner. 
See you, David. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we have, like, one more cutscene and then we're good. Laura. 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 Laura, can you hear me? Laura. These graphics are so real. It's like I'm actually there. It's like I'm at the oh, pond with the ducks. I was afraid you would sleep for another two days straight. I was just getting used to having a friend. Don't leave me alone again, okay? Oh, we're friends. Come on, let's go back to the cabin. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll find Janny fast asleep in bed. Okay, yeah. That's gonna happen. <laughs> If we ever get out of here, I'm going to write a poem for you. Yeah. I think the theme will be light. What? It's what you brought into my life. I'm so glad I met you, Laura. You ready for some speed? You can never leave me again, Laura. Hold on tight. Never. Oh, what does this music remind me? I will say that the soundtrack in this game seems generally pretty good. It reminds me of, like, some horror game, but I can't figure out what it is. Wom, wom, wom. Shadow, shadow, shadow. I forget what he said. Shadow the Final Destroyer or something like that? Oh, yeah. Shadow the Final Destroyer. friend gained in the worst possible circumstance. I'm feeling much better, thanks to you. I've gone to look for gas, hoping that you will recall your past. Very, very soon, Kimberly. And I think, if I can save, that is gonna be a part for us, lads. Uh, I hope you're as excited to continue this game as I am. Uh, like I said, next time there will, of course, be cutscenes, but it's not going to be anywhere near as crazy. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Um, and, uh, for, to start off on next part, I may have level up a little bit, and I may be at the next area, just to save, like, 10, 15, 20 minutes of time. See you next time. Take us out. Bye. Sheets! D2.